In iOS 15, Apple changed the wording in the reset section, and it's thrown some users off, but nothing has really changed. You can use this area to make changes if your iPhone or iPad is acting weird or glitchy. You can reset your device settings, remove network connections, erase all your content, reset your keyboard dictionary and home screen layout. You can even dump location and privacy data. This video will walk you through the steps to get your iPhone or iPad back up and running quickly. If you find this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. A word of caution before we start, always back up your device before changing settings. If you want to take all your preferences back to the default in one foul swoop, you'll reset all settings. To do that, you'll tap on the Settings app, you'll scroll to General, tap on General, scroll to the very bottom of the page and choose Transfer or Reset your iPhone or your iPad, and now select Reset. At the very top, you'll see Reset All Settings. You may be prompted to enter your password when you do this, and when completed, this will reset all of the settings listed in this box. You may be hesitant to do this. Let's walk through how you might avoid this. Maybe you're just having trouble with your Wi-Fi or cellular connection. Maybe you can't get online or the service is sluggish. Wiping your network preferences may fix the problem. However, you will lose your Wi-Fi access points and their passwords and any virtual private network connections you have set up. It will reset your cellular connection too, and this will allow you a fresh start on your network. So instead of choosing Reset all, all Settings, you'll go ahead and just choose Reset Network Settings, enter your passcode, confirm that you want to reset your network, and then you'll have to just go back in and choose your Wi-Fi access point and enter your password and set up any uh, virtual private networks that you had set up before. If you've noticed that autocorrect suggests bizarre language, it might be time to reset your keyboard cache. To do this, you'll come in and you'll select Reset Keyboard Dictionary, enter your password and confirm, and your dictionary will be reset. Maybe you're tired of how your home screen looks, or you want to try out the default app layout. Resetting your home screen will move all the default apps to the main page. However, it won't reset your wallpaper or delete any of your apps. So you'll just need to choose Reset Home Screen, tap on Reset Home Screen again, and then begin setting up your home screen to your liking. Maybe you want to restore your location and privacy to the default settings. Unfortunately, this will remove all access from third-party apps and require them to reprompt for access. But you'll choose Reset Location and Privacy at the very bottom, enter your passcode, confirm, and that will reset your privacy connections. I have another video on erasing all content and settings. I'll put a link in the description. Resetting various settings can help fix random issues or glitches. Make sure you back up your iPhone or iPad before resetting any significant settings. This way you'll always have a backup if something goes terribly wrong. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.